favorites. <laughs> Hello, Sydney. <laughs> We're right outside of Bristol, Tennessee. We've been driving for three and a half hours now. It's late at night. It's like one o'clock in the morning. And we're only a third of the way. And we still got seven and a half hours to drive. So we gotta go. So yep, mother's calling. That's it. See you later. Well, this gas station is way better than anything. Like, if y'all don't know, we're from Gas, from Gas in Alabama. We ain't got nothing. Nothing. So, this this gas station, like, pan, pan it, right? Pan it. Like, this may not look interesting to y'all, but this is twice as big as any gas station we have in Gas. They have a restaurant inside of a gas station. They have the McDonald's. They have a Cinnabon. They got this little machine here. It's not a whole lot, but it's still cool, man. 25 cent clones. <laughs> they got polo. They got polo sport. They have eternity. I don't wear none of those, but it's pretty dope. Again, this is not going to be a sign where we're like, we don't have this in gases. Oh, it's oh, insane. This is our first stop to Monster Mania. <laughs> Day two, uh, you see I'm in costume as a camp counselor here with the long ass socks. Uh, I'm trying we're to get the lady Bob. We're doing a uh, photo op for Candy Day. We got to meet him yesterday. He got a mask sign. I got choked out. He got choked out. Uh, <laughs> it was really, really cool. We're going to run to Party City. We have a costume contest today. We're going to try to win. Not me, but James. Yeah. Uh, I think we got a pretty good chance of winning. But. Hold on, hold on, go ahead and get it. You see, this isn't the costume. Look. He's decked out. Ray says he feels like an anime vibe for it, I guess. <laughs> Which is not bad. No. I think it's the pins. And then I even got the. <laughs> I even got the Jason watch. I'm, I'm Jason out today, bro. I'm excited. And I know Kane's gonna be like in character when he's dressed up as, as Jason, and that's gonna be scary. <laughs> I'm excited, though. But, but to head to Party City real quick, try to get something for this costume. All right.
What do you got for me here? Whoa, uh, yeah. that's a nice looking one. Yes, sir. Where would you like me to sign? Uh, right. right in here? Yeah. Just my name? Uh, my question is, without spoiling anything, yeah. after the series, this series is done, would you personally rather this be the end of Michael or if there is something else, what direction would you want the character to go? After what? After these after, two after, new after movies? Jeez, I'd have to see the movies first, you know, to see where it felt like it should go, if, if any place. You know, sometimes it's good to end something because then it, everything else seems kind of more precious that way, too. Yeah. So, we'll see, we'll see. Because, uh, because you know, uh, the people that own the franchise, if it continues to make the kind of move, money it did this last time, it won't end. <laughs> I think it's inevitable it'll go on. There's on. always the money factor. But, you know, the other thing is that, you know, maybe someone will reinterpret it like uh, Rob did. Yeah. You know, a different way. That's another way of doing it, where it's totally different. What do you think about the Rob song? The first one, I kind of was more curious about it than liked it or didn't like it, because it was so unusually, it was so unusual. It was different. Yeah, it was so different. And so raw, like his stuff, you know. And yeah. So I wasn't used to that. So I, th I didn't see the second one. Everyone told me to stay away from it. It wasn't very good. <laughs> it wasn't the best. Yeah, no, yeah. And my second question is, there's a scene in 2018 yeah. where Michael, if you remember, stabs that woman in the neck. Yeah. He's walking out. And he, there's a baby in the living room. Oh, yeah. And he looks down and he goes, was that a peak of innocence in Michael, do you think? Oh. You know, I didn't, I didn't write it, and I didn't direct it, nor was I there for that scene. So, you know, there's nothing I could have... I can only imagine that that's... Because he killed the kid in, in the truck, and I yeah. didn't expect that. But. Yeah, I thought, and that, I thought that was the most brutal thing in the movie, frankly, yeah. when he killed the kid. And I went, oh shit, I don't even know if this is going to work now, because I don't know if I like this movie if it's going to be killing people like that. Yeah, I never expected that. Yeah. But I mean... But, uh, the, the way I took that wasn't any kind of innocence, it's that... Eh. Not <laughs> what, my problem? It's not, it's not worth my time. It's not worth my... If he was... If he was really crying and annoying him, he would have killed him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there was that sense of compassion there. I think that's yeah, like a bug or something. That's how I saw it. But, but it's nice that it's left up to interpretation. You know? Yeah, I, I give it a sense sometimes. Yeah. What'd you think? Well, I wasn't sure. Yeah. That's yeah. why I wanted to ask people yeah. who actually... You should ask James. Did you I'm ask him? Ask him the same thing. Because he's the one that walked by the big So maybe David said, what, he said, what am I supposed to do going by the crib? Yeah. I don't know. Let me know. If you, if do you ask. think if he would have killed the baby, that would have been too much for people? Oh, yeah. 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 just go by just with a pillow. But well, having yeah. the baby there was kind of... Yeah. Peak people's interest. Yeah, well, obviously they had... They didn't have to have a baby there. Yeah, they didn't have to. Yeah, but, and, but maybe it was like the, the sense of dread. Oh, no, you're not going to go that far. Yeah. That's probably what it was. All right, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I do want to ask, what was your favorite, like, kill from the first movie that you were I like killing Bob in the kitchen. And I like... Uh, the nod. The, the nod and nod. stuff like that. And I like the whole thing with uh, the ghost of Michael. Yeah. yeah, I like that whole scene. That was good too. Sure. <laughs> What's your least favorite Halloween out of the whole franchise? Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, of the ones I've seen, there was the one. What was it? The one uh, in back in Michael's house where they're doing a video. Resurrection. Yeah, Is that what that one was? Yeah. Yeah, that one seemed to be a little, little soft. <laughs> What was your favorite part of the movie? Of the Scream? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, I really loved working with Wes Craven. You know, we had such a good time together. And the cast were amazing. You know, the cast were so talented and funny. And so it was a lot of fun to work on. Which was your favorite to do? The first. first. But they were all great. Like, they were all really good experience. I <laughs> 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 I'm like, let me just jump down. I like don't fuck with the original.
This one was right behind it. All right, let's go picture. Separate ones, right? Yeah, we'll just separate. Yep. Alrighty. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Jay, what do you think of our our experience with Matthew Lillard? Matthew Lillard was amazing. He's a little my favorite person. You know, ever. you should have done it. You should have, should have asked him at the panel. Yeah. Because see, they because they were doing stuff when the crew asked him this stuff. Hey, I know. Think about that. The man started singing to me. <laughs> he he was such a nice dude, man. Like like two kids got in line just to say hi, and he signed autographs for him. Didn't even charge him. And one guy. Came in dressed as Shaggy, and he walked that man out. Like not, not like he was trying to get rid of him. Like he put the man's bag on his shoulder and helped him out of like the crowd that we were in. And he like he signed our he signed our stuff. Like he signed my poster and raised oh, mask. Man. He signed liver alone. <laughs> he asked me what uh, what I wanted to sign. I said surprise me. He's like I got you. I got you. He was super cool. And the same dude he was talking about lost his phone. And he was like, hey, bro, you want me to call it? I would say, yeah. <laughs> yes, Matthew was definitely, like, one of the best parts of this whole trip, honestly. Yeah. I know we didn't vlog. We didn't, we, there's a lot of spots where we couldn't record. Yeah. They wouldn't allow it. They're, like, super picky about that. Yeah, like, we were going to do, because uh, we did get a video with, for, with like, you talking to Nick Castle. Nick Castle. But we couldn't do it with James Drew Courtney. Like, yeah, I mean, they wouldn't allow that. But like I said, Matthew was probably the best part of this whole thing. Him and Kane Harder were great. 
Yeah, like you could actually just sit there and talk to Kane Hodder for however long you fucking wanted to. Hell, we stopped him one time, like in the hallway. Just he said, "What's up?" Yeah. Didn't didn't care. But we're at the end of our trip, guys. Well, at least we're heading back. I know you can't see me, but we're heading back. It's a 12-hour drive, so. Hey, Adios. Deuces.